Hi guys, you are watching MA Tutorials, in this video we are going to learn how to make Google logo in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. We need to install Google Font Product Sans before entering into Adobe Illustrator. Click Befins.com link to download the font. Click Download button to enter into Download Now page. And click Download Now button. Once it completed, Click the downloaded zip file to install the font, and install Product Sans bold font. Once it completed, create a new common artboard in Adobe Illustrator, and change its preset details to Google Logo. In the toolbar, select Rectangle tool and double-click on artboard, and change its width and height by 1366 and 768 pixels. To change the color of the rectangle, click Fill, and enter the RGB value 152734 and click Enter key. Select the Selection tool, and drag it to artboard. Once again select Rectangle tool and double-click on artboard, and change its width and height by 798 and 254 pixels. To change the color of the rectangle, click Fill, and enter the RGB value FFFFFF, which is white, and select the Selection tool, hold Shift, and select both rectangles and click Align button, and drag it to the artboard. Reduce the sharpness of the white rectangle by dragging the dots at the edges. Select the Type tool, and type the text Google, and change its font to Product Sans Bold, and change its size to 187 points. Align it, and erase the letter E from Google. Once again select the Type tool, and type the letter E. And align it to Google. And change its angle to 28 degree. Select the Line Segment tool from the toolbar, and draw a line, then change its angle to 326.31 degree. Select the Selection tool, and move it across the letter E. Hold Shift and select the letter E. And go to Objects, click Expand and click OK button. Go to Window menu, and select Pathfinder window. And click Divide button from Pathfinder window. Left click on letter E and ungroup it. Select the end of the letter E, and delete it. The important part of the Google logo is color. Select the letter G and click Fill. Enter the RGB value 4285 F4, and press Enter button. Enter the RGB values as follows. Select the white background, and go to Effects, Stylize, Drop Shadow and copy the Drop Shadow settings. And click OK button. And there we go that wraps up the video so hope you learned something new thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon I will see you next time.